Another year goes by, we all get more wrinkles, and FIFA comes out again with next year's number on the box. This time, FIFA 13 also has a new cover star in the way of Lionel Messi, and that gives you some clue as to how the gameplay's been tweaked, but we'll come to that later. So what's new in the front end before you get on the pitch? Well, there are a few tweaks and additions. Back once again at EA Sports Football Club, Ultimate Team, Challenges, and the usual single and multiplayer mode you'd expect, but the main addition you'll notice is Match Day. If you're connected to the EA servers, you'll get real-life fixtures thrown your way to play through, as well as weekly form updates of individual players and teams depending on how they're doing. Liverpool of course are shown to have a bit of a dip at the moment. Commentary will also reflect what's going on in the real world. At the moment Martin Tyler and Alan Smith keep berating Barini for lacking form, which is fair. And you even get Alan McAnally phoning in fictitious scores which add to the feeling that other games are being played at the same time. There's even touchline commentary from Jeff Shreves when it comes to things like injuries. You'll also notice skill games you can play whilst you wait for a match to start which can also be selected to play in your own time. These range from dribbling and passing to shooting practice and penalties and you'll earn XP for everything you do which can then be used in the new catalogue to buy new classic shirts, celebrations, skills and boots in the shop. So what's the game like? Well, it's another improvement. Not only do players now not just run in straight lines, you also get more attacking options thanks to better attacking AI. Through balls connect more often, and the player impact engine has been refined to stop comedy moments where they hump each other on the floor. Part of the control system from FIFA Street has also been borrowed, meaning if you hold down both triggers, you can do all sorts of fancy moves that not only look good, but also help to confuse your opponent as well. There's also an element of unpredictability in there too, thanks to the first touch control. Serve up a ball that's bouncing strangely or skinning on a wet surface, and it may kick up off a player's foot strangely, leading to a breakdown in attack. This may annoy some people who want their passes to always connect if a player is in space, but I think it just adds to the fun and maybe more of a leveler if players' skill sets aren't the same. They've even put bespoke controls in there for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Whilst I'm never going to play FIFA on the move, the Connect, however, does offer a useful voice control where you can shout tactics instead of selecting this on the D-pad, which is well when you're in the middle of an attack or defence. Add to the refined gameplay some great player likenesses and a convincing Sky Sports style graphical package and you definitely have the best looking, sounding and playing football game ever made. It really is close to perfection so I'm giving it 9.5 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com